In 1976, Reading secured promotion out of Division 4. Lifelong fan Richard Wixon spells out the achievement of that team. We gained promotion for the very first time in 50 years of, of Reading's history. Very exciting season. Steve Death was in goal for us, a legend. Uh, defence of Dave Morline, Tommy Alden, uh, Gary Peters and Jeff Barker. Up front we had uh, a great partnership of uh, Robin Friday and John Murray, who together scored a phenomenal amount of goals. With the team on the verge of promotion after 50 years of inactivity, glory was finally secured on 21st of April 1976. Game at Cambridge, uh, we went up there requiring a point. Uh, we got a 2-2 draw, and then the game after that, the home game against Crew Alexandra, which was really a festival. Uh, good football, but at the end of the day, we'd all uh, enjoyed promotion for the very first time. Uh, great, great day. The 75-76 season saw Robin Friday at his mercurial best with 21 goals in 44 games. So what was he like to watch? A great character, a great comedian. Uh, every time he got the ball, you knew something special was going to happen, and there was always a buzz around Elm Park when, uh, when the ball was at uh, Robin Friday's feet. The excitement that he produced, he could do anything with a football. Yes, he did uh, do a few things that perhaps in the modern professional game weren't really, were certainly frowned upon, but he was a, a great character. Um, as I say, every time he got the ball, you knew something was going to happen. He could score goals from any part of the, the pitch, Friday was capable of producing magic at any time, and in late March he scored one of the best goals in Reading FC's history. He scored uh, a goal against Tranmere in a 5-1 win against Tranmere, who at that time were promotion candidates alongside us. Uh, the goal was spectacular. The goal came to him, he uh, kicked it up over his shoulder, turned, spun, and volleyed the ball into the back of the net, and with that he just ran to the back of the goal and kissed the policeman. And uh, that was the sort of guy he was. He was had extreme talent and really should have gone on to do better things. He lived, lived his life in the fast lane. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that was his demise.